You all at my window, I swear to God, I'll shoot you. Look, get I'm, I'm getting all this on tape. Get out of the car. Look, he pulling a gun. This, Dad, this for Dad, the. Get that on video. Get out of the car. She took off on me. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Go f yourself. Get out of the car. Look, Father God, you dispel this evil in Jesus' name. Get out of the car. I am the law enforcement officer. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Go f yourself. You don't know. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Manunga woman was pulled over for having an expired registration sticker on her license plate. Within minutes, 49-year-old Beth DeLoma was threatened with a gun and tackled to the ground by Pol Chief of Police Nathan Lanham. She was stopped at the intersection of Shaver and Lambert Street by Officer Lanham, who she claims didn't look like an officer when she was pulled over. She asked to see his badge, and according to her, that's when Lanham began to berate her and threaten her before pulling his gun and pointing it at her head and crotch. Scared in the moment, she drove about 30 yards to her mother's house where the video was filmed. Her neighbor, local Reverend Bill Preston, heard her calling for help as she drove through the field. I heard screaming, Bill, Bill, help me, he's got a gun. Well, I didn't know who she was talking about, so I went a little bit closer to talk to her further. And about that time, this car pulled down the driveway toward me, and he had to slam on his brakes to keep from hitting me. And the marks are still on the road out there. And he, he got out of the car, and he pointed his gun at me and told me to get back, which I did. And, and I might say also, when he first came using that F word, my wife was out there uh, demanding who he was. We didn't know who he was. And he used the F word to my wife. Bill and his wife have lived in Mananga for over 50 years, and he says he never thought he'd see something like what happened to Beth Deloma. That was the shock to us. I've never seen nothing like that, let alone a police officer. You know, I have the greatest respect for the police, you know, what they have to go through. And, uh, but for a police officer to act that unprofessional, I, I just couldn't believe it. If a little child, kids that have been around there and seen that, what would they have thought of the police? Beth was held in jail on a $125,000 bond with felony fleeing with reckless indifference for five nights before the charges were dropped earlier today. She is still behind bars as of this broadcast while the paperwork is being filed. We're told she's exhausted and terrified. But the story doesn't end there. A town meeting is being held tonight at 530 in part to discuss the events that took place on Thursday.